friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts, Del Puckett here. And in this video here, I want to teach you and show you and demonstrate. Um, I call it this. I call this a shredding lick, and it's very, very simple. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to tune up to G, D, G. This is the hubcap howler and I like to tune this one up to GDG uh, just to increase the tension so I have more downward pressure right here um, if you want to see the build video of this particular cigar box guitar be sure to check it out up here somewhere um, I am plugged into the Roland micro cube and the settings on these are just straight up All right, so this is gonna be what I call a double pull-off. And we're gonna be using a pick and your two fingers are on your left hand. So your index finger is going to be here on the second fret and your middle finger is gonna be on the third fret for all the strings here. So I like to start off on a high string and do a double pull-off. So it's just one pick and then do the same thing on the middle string the same thing on the low string and then go backwards a couple of things that you can do with this and so one of them is just to go up and down and 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 up and down forever, right? And it's going to sound cool. The other like I like to do is just do two strings. And then you can combine the uh, three strings up and down with the two strings up and down. And then you can just stay on one string. <laughs> All right, so now you got three options, right? You can do the three strings up and down, the two strings up and down, just stay on one string. Here we go. Now, if you can do this double pull off on the second and third fret with the with your index and your middle finger, I like to do these exact same licks using my index finger here at the third fret and my ring finger here at the fifth fret. All right, so the same ideas apply for both here and here. And so now what you can do is you can do one here, one here, one here, and one here, one here, and one here. Seriously, I mean, there's like so many options and tricks and things you can do with this just little double pull off thing. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to leave you with a little outro and I'm going to do some harmonics up here off the fretboard.
And what, what I do here for this here, and this is just a bonus, bonus, this is a bonus trip, tip. Um, what I do is I, first of all, I, is I kind of experiment and I kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, explore where the harmonics are. And I'm just kind of laying my, my pinky, the, the side of my pinky here across all the strings. Just barely, I'm just barely touching. There's going to be harmonics all over the place, but I'm listening for uh, the easy harmonics, the ones that pop just instantly. And then I memorize where the harmonics exist, and I'm just kind of looking. So I, I found one of the harmonics that's exactly in the halfway point between this edge of here and this one here. It's like right here in the middle right here. That's kind of my, uh, one of them. And the other one is kind of halfway between the halfway point. So I would say maybe at the uh, one third point right here. It's another one. And if you're close, it's gonna, it's gonna sound. And then the other one is right at the edge of this paint can lid here. That one's the easy one. All right, so now I'm just gonna. double pull-offs and uh, experimenting with that and then also exploring your harmonics up here in the upper regions of your cigar box guitar or in this case here your hub cap howler all right guys enough enough of that time to start shredding blessings